Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad from Radko Tarot and uh, in this whole video we are going to look into uh, Leo week which is um, December 21st to December 27th, a 2020. And uh, just to throw it out there uh, the, for the Facebook following exclusively right now in this week, uh, there is a flash sale going on which uh, pretty much gives you the uh, Minor Arcana Tarot class on 50% of the price and Major Arcana Tarot, tarot class as well or the, on the 35% uh, of the price. So, uh, if you are a Facebook follower, just send me a message to my uh, Facebook page and in case you do want to take a participation into the flash sale and I'm going to provide you with a link uh, to, to purchase the classes. If you are not a Facebook follower, then you can find my Facebook page link down in the description below and you pretty much can become such. So with that being said, uh, moving to the spread or to the reading straight away now, the first card which uh, marks Leo week um, or Leo topic of the week here, that is to be the Seven of Swords. Moving next, we do have the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic that is going to be the Eight of Pentacles, followed by the uh, challenges that you get to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Hangman. Moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy throughout the week, Leo. That is to be the Two of Swords. Afterwards, what we do have it is the impression that people are going to have towards you. What, what is that people see when they look at you? That is to be the uh, Hermit. Moving next, we have uh, the obstacles which are going to hold you back and down. That is to be the Ten of Cups. Afterwards, it is the uh, positive aspects that are going to help you push your things forward in terms of the week. That will be the Six of Cups. And the last one, which stands as the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Leo, that is to, or Leo, that is to be the Page of Cups. So those eight cards. Right. Uh, pretty interesting week. It is what we do have uh, here for you guys. So, for what it seems, uh, with these two cards or how the thing starts or what the week is going to be for you, uh, is kind of like doing or minding your own business, if I may say it that way, uh, without concerning yourself of the opinion of anybody around. And by saying minding and doing your own business, I'm talking about the business that interferes or it kind of relates to, to other people. So just to give you an example here, um, you may have given, given a money to somebody that uh, pretty much owes you those money, obviously. And now you need those money, you are going to ask those money regardless if that person is going to starve or not. Or that is going to be your, uh, how can I say, predisposition. Of course, you can withdraw from that standpoint, but that is going to be the affinity of yours. Doing what you think is best for you, regardless of what that is going to cause to your job or to your relationship or to your friendships as well. Now, you may ask yourself, oh my God, or you may say to yourself right now, oh my God, that is so selfish. Look at it from, the, from, uh, from a side, yes, it does look selfish. But what uh, people would not know it is that so you can reach that state, you have endured BS quite for a while. And now the sense of, of self-righteousness, the attitude, Stepping for one's personal rights uh, is going to be at, uh, is going to be your virtue, if I may say it that way. And uh, whichever situation is mistreating you, or whichever person is mistreating you, uh, or uh, whenever you do feel that uh, an injustice is done towards you, this is where you are going to press that uh, that energy of minding only your own business. Looking, in, look, looking the things only towards your own benefit or, in other words said, following your own agenda. Okay, Because if you don't follow your own agenda, no one, nobody else is going to do it for you. Uh, and uh, it seems that you're going to be very tenacious and uh, a very meticulous when it, comes to, uh, when it comes to reaching that designation, when it comes to accomplishing the things 
the way you have it within your mind, even if that means that you are have to uh, storm a certain situations. Now, just give me a second here. Now, uh, next one that we do have for you, Leo, that is to be the uh, challenges that you have to overcome. That is uh, the, the hangman card and uh, the whole inertia or the whole initial moment, moment, I'm sorry. Uh, so the whole initial moment of you charging towards your own agenda is going to be a bit of a problem. That is because exactly this uh, vision or that perspective that you have to step for your personal rights. You gotta show your strong back. You, you gotta show a strong backbone. Um, you have to lean toward the sense of uh, of self righteousness. That perspective is gonna be a bit difficult for you to acquire. It's kind of there, but the sense of pity, commiserations, uh, and in generally, you know, being caring more for others than yourself is going to cloud it at the start. And uh, the hangman, how you can overcome the hangman, it is just, you know, looking the world upside down, or in other words, uh, accepting that there is a different way, accepting that there is a different perspective. And once you do so, your life is going to be set into stir once more. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, oh, one more thing about the hangman. Uh, you sh when, when you do recognize that new perspective, that at the end of the day, you have to take care for yourself. Uh, you may kind of start overkilling things here and there and thus you need to know or that is going to be challenging for you to know when to press the brakes, right? Sometimes things are not happening straight away. Things are not going to happen overnight. So you have to, you must have that patience to wait the things to develop. You've done your part, okay? And now let them unfold and develop according to what you have did as a action or what kind of decision you had taken. Moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy. That is the gift and the blessing of the Two of Swords. Uh, and in your case, the Two of Swords here points the gift and the blessing of uh, lack of guilt of what you are doing here. Like I said, it may look like it's selfish, but you will know that it is not selfish. You have to do it long, long time ago. It's just you are postponing it so with the hope you know, things not to get that far, but they are. And now the only thing that remains or the only thing logical, if you will, is to step for yourself. And you will have no guilt doing it whatsoever because of the perspective I talked about here. Uh, as the two of sorts states before you decide what to do, whether you should leave it as it is or you should take the matters in your own hands, you gotta consider all points of view. Who does consider your points of view? None. So you have to consider it. And uh, doing so, you're going to make the right choice. Another thing that the Two of Swords here gifts you with, it is the, uh, how can I say, the blessing of inability to make wrong decisions. It's pretty much, even if you do make a wrong decision, with time you are going to have the chance to correct it and with time the right decision will become obvious to you. Moving next, we do have the impression that you are going to leave into people around. Just give me one second here, guys. So the impression that you are going to give into the people around, um, what people are going to see when they look at you, that is the hermit, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, on, a, on a more practical side, I could say people are going to see in you the lonely wolf, all right? someone who does presses into their direction and disregarding the ideas of the world and the ideas of others. But those that knows you very well, what they're going to look at you, what they're going to see when they look at you, it is literally, finally, that guy or that woman, uh, finally, they are going to do something for themselves. Finally, they are seeing what their direction is and they are taking the matters within their own hands, regardless who is there to applaud them or not. And uh, that is going to make you look and also be a very intelligent, very wise, not allowing to be manipulated emotionally, okay, and knowing your best interest. That is the biggest thing here, knowing 
uh, what to what to do so you accomplish something substantial for your life and being a follower rather than working for yourself is not going to allow you to do so so here it is a about like said once again pressing in your direction regardless who is to follow you in it moving next we do have the obstacles that is, are going to hold you back and down that is the obstacle of the ten of cups and unfortunately it's it's a rough obstacle for you guys so that what I said thus far if you do decide to do it that way uh, obviously we're talking about some kind of detachment uh, from a society of people maybe you may decide to break your relationship because it's it literally doesn't doesn't work for you you give way too much in it and, and you get nothing from it so your self-righteousness kicks in you know you step for your rights seeing that it's not going to work out so you gotta pretty much walk your own way and uh, these separations regardless if it's going to be with a friend uh, with a business partner uh, with a project for example kind of like uh, making your leave from a job or from a pro from a project uh, from your beloved one for example as well it, it will feel like a piece of your soul is pretty much ripped off okay and uh, that is gonna make you being unsensitive or rather like you lack sensation toward happiness uh, for a short period of time that is for at least for the duration of the week but uh, it's, it's I just suspect that it's going to be just for a couple of days all right because with the next card what we do have here which is actually what helps you push forward that is a six of cups so as soon as you do recognize your own path your own agenda you know and you do everything uh, to the best of your abilities to follow it regardless the ideas of others and the ideas of the world you're gonna start you're gonna find yourself with a lot of a free space on your platter and a lot of a free time as well now that state is gonna make you rediscover the world and that is what we do have here finding new activities new people uh, new ways uh, in terms of making business that are going to simply make you feel happy slowly but steadily your happiness is going to start increasing once more what i'm talking about here is associating for example with people that physically and emotionally kind of corresponds to you uh, if for example you kind of like cut ties with a person of interest because you kind of like see that they are having it their own way and they're disregarding yours so it's either for them the, the my way or the highway and you say well it's for me it's the same thing okay if you are going to play that 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 way i'm going to play that way as well and obviously nothing is to happen that way but after this person of interest that is just for example you are to associate yourself with another one that it is physically and emotionally corresponding to your needs and to your vision in general should this, should this be about a career um, then you are to withdraw from a project because you see you're seeing that it isn't working for you anymore uh, the next thing that you are going to take and that will be within the frame time of the week itself is going to be a thing that you can pretty much storm creatively thing that you would enjoy working every morning you're gonna wake up with enthusiasm and how can I say determination to go there and to, to, to give the best you can because you simply like it so slowly but steadily you're going to regain happiness from life once you detach yourself from those people or situations that simply are not contributing to your vision to your agenda to, to generally to your goals moving forward into the future and the last one which is the guidance for you leo or leo that is the page of uh, the page of cups guidance wise page of cups here points that should you feel bad about something definitely it isn't it isn't for you from now on you will have to suffuse your life only with activities and with with how can i say with people that you can uh, attach yourself emotionally to only with a pleasant emotions and that is some kind of a, a transformation in a very very small scale though it's not transformation like with the tower card or, or anything like this 
but a transformation in a, in a small in a small scale that will allow you to look into the whenever something new approaches you okay like a new person to date with or like a new project is project is to be given to you instead of being beguiled by the details of the thing you will learn how to uh, foresee the overview and how to attend to that overview and that will pretty much help you not to pretty much involve yourself into activities and people that are gonna make you feel bad. So that being said, Leo or Leo, that was uh, your weekly tarot reading December 21st to December 27, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it guys and we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.